a terrifying construction accident in the seaport. A piece of construction equipment came crashing down on this car here. You can see the damage. The driver inside was injured. And he tells us he could have been crushed. WBC's Tiffany Chan is live in the seaport tonight. And Tiffany, boy, it sounds as though uh, this was inches away from being much worse. That 34 year old driver is still in the hospital in a neck brace and a gash on his nose. I did talk to him over FaceTime. He's still shaken up, but if you see the damage on his car, you'll understand why he's so grateful to be alive and to tell us what happened. I hurt my nose. Uh, I have a headache right now. I have a neck pain. I have neck pain. From the hospital stretcher, Joao Saud says that despite his injuries, he's incredibly lucky to be alive. This was his Toyota minutes after metal debris from a construction site smashed through the roof of his car in Boston with him inside. I heard like a sound. I thought somebody hit on the back in my car. But it, it, it is something falling on the roof. Saud is still startled, telling us he was driving home from work, stopped at a red light next to the work being done at 400 Summer Street when he felt and heard the impact. One of his first calls was to his friend who came to comfort him. He was bleeding a little bit and he looked so scared. Luckily, the metal thing goes right up, right side of his car. He said, like, um, like, Something is happening in my car and I got on the accident. That's what he told me. Terrified, confused, but grateful that the piece of metal didn't lean closer to the driver's seat. If, if he fall down like little inches near me, it's gonna be on the head. So you feel really lucky right now? Yeah. I would call him lucky, you know, like luckily he didn't get that much injured. An incredibly close call now. Suffolk Construction says they're stopping work on this site while the OSHA investigation gets underway. Live from Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.